Hey guys, Doug B here. Welcome to Preset of the Week, where I highlight either one of the factory presets or a preset created by third-party creators. This week, we're going to take a look at another factory preset, so turn on your Axe FX3 and go to preset 89, Corn Cob. Let's listen to a little sample. I decided to use the random number generator one more time to keep my biases out of the preset choice. And once again, fate deals us a winner. You know, I may use this approach more often. This time I changed the range from 0 to 383 because that would limit it strictly to the latest factory presets, which is what I should have been doing in the first place. Now this preset is based around the Cornfed M50 amp type, which is modeled after the Cornford MK50. The Cornford Amp Company was started in 1999 by Paul Cornford and Martin Kidd. Their first amp was the Harlequin, a 7 watt combo. Their goal was to get that big British tone in a smaller watt package, mostly for use in the studio. Their next amps were the Carrera, which is 8 watts, and the Hurricane, which was 20 watts. Next was the Hellcat Head and Combo, which were 35 watts. Finally, we get to the 50 watt beast, the MK50, which was named after Martin Kidd. It has been described as a better hot rodded Marshall, a more manageable Soldano, a less congested Mesa Mark, and a brighter dual rectifier. Martin Kidd is an amazing engineer who did many hours of research on circuitry because he wanted to create the perfect Marshall on steroids. Currently, he designs for Victory amps. Cornford stopped producing amps in 2013 when the factory that built them burned down and also because of Paul Cornford's health issues. Some of the players who have used Cornford amps include Guthrie Govan, Richie Kotzen, Mark Tremonti, Rob Balducci, Greg Howe, Frank Gambali, Richard Fortas, John Fogarty, Roger Waters, and Dweezil Zappa. The most recent version of the MK50, the MK52 head, sold for $3,999 new. Now let's look under the hood of this preset in depth. It has eight scenes, drives on five, dial down, hotter, power amp push, five slash five lead, five slash five dry, PA push drive, and five slash five legacy cab. Now besides the in and out blocks, it uses 10 blocks. Wah, Comp, Drive, Amp, Cab, Pan Trim, Chorus, Flange, Delay, and Reverb. It's pretty efficient, only using around 48 to 50% of the uh, CPU. Let's take a look at the blocks. The Wah block uses the Clyde type in channel A, and it kicks in when you move the expression pedal. The Comp block uses the analog compressor type in channel A. Now, it's not active in any scene, but you can use a foot switch to turn it off and on. The drive block uses the TS9DX Plus type in channel A and is used in scene 5. The amp block uses the Cornfed M50 in all four channels. See channel B, channel C, and channel D. Now, of course, the only difference is the different settings in all the channels. Channel A is used in scenes 1, 5, 6, and 8. Channel B is used in scene 2. Channel C is used in scene 3, and channel D is used in scenes 4 and 7. The cab block uses factory 2 number 532, the 4x12 Brit 70's Greenback 160B, and factory 2 number 524, the 4x12 Brit 70's Greenback 121C in channel A. And that's used in scenes 1 through 7. Scene 8 uses legacy number 184, a 4x12 Greenback mix in channel B. The pan trem block uses the tremolo type in channel A. Like the comp block, it's not active in any scene but can be turned off and on with a foot switch. The chorus block uses the dimension 2 type in channel A, and it too is not active in any scene but can be turned off and on with a foot switch. The flanger block uses the analog stereo type in channel A, and once again, it's not active in any scene but can be turned off and on with a foot switch. The delay block uses the dual delay type in channel A and is used in scene 5. 
The reverb block uses the large wooden room type in channel A and is used in scenes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 8. Now here's a sample and I'll post the scene names on screen. So there you have it guys, corn cob. Now, corn cob? I, you know, not the best name, but I mean, this baby roars. <laughs> so we'll forgive him for that. I mean, I am a sucker for a Marshall on steroids and this guy is it. I, I mean, I just see Warren Haynes written all over this. This thing would fit in with a government mule setup no problem at all give it a try let me know what you think about it all right guys this friday we're going to talk about getting your input on the future of this channel as we're about to hit 1,000 subscribers whoa audience participation time and a giveaway now you don't want to miss that so go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell all right guys see you on friday